Africa Mental Health Foundation is a non-governmental organization that was established in the year 2000 in Nairobi and has since offered community mental health services to both urban and rural populations through collaborations with relevant government ministries, the Nairobi City Council, local and international universities, among other development partners. We partner with the government, with the Minister of Health, with the Minister of Public Health, with the politicians, uh, national and grassroots level, with faith healers, with traditional healers, with all mental health workers, with all uh, uh, medical health workers, with the opinion leaders, with the community members. It is a collective effort involving everybody. Mental illness is defined as any illness that affects the normal functioning of the mind of a human being. It can also be described as the state when one's mind is not working optimally or deviates from the normal. In extreme cases, the illness is referred to as a mental disorder and research has shown that at least 25% of all people seeking help at primary care level are suffering primarily from mental illness and another 25% present both the mental and physical condition, making a total of 50%. Only that they do not know. Mental illness is any illness that affects the, function, the normal functioning of the brain in very simple terms. So that uh, the behavior or the thinking of the person uh, or the, his attitudes to other people and to us himself uh, is... Uh, and his feelings are outside the normal range of normal. Sometimes there may be imbalances in the body system for certain chemicals. If some chemicals are lower than others, then that can cause a mental illness. If they are higher than others, that can cause a mental illness. In other words, within the body system, chemicals are supposed to be balanced in a certain way. There is also the hereditary factor. Some mental illnesses tend to run in families and there is really nothing one can do about that. They just run in families but they can be treated. The other factor is environmental. If someone goes through a lot of stressful events, and I'm not saying one can live a life without stress, but if the person is not able to cope with that stressful event, that can be a contributing factor to the uh, development of a mental illness. There are only 77 qualified psychiatrists in Kenya against a population of about 40 million people. This means that there is only one psychiatrist for every half a million people. Was still, all these 77 psychiatrists are based in urban areas and in private practice, which makes it very expensive for the ordinary person to access their services. In fact, there's not a single psychiatrist working at the community level, a situation that prompted one professor, David Ndete, to explore means and ways of making community mental health services accessible and affordable to all. The 77 psychiatrists, most of them are in urban areas, most of them in Nairobi, uh, quite a big uh, a chunk of them doing private practice and only for those people who can afford their services. In fact, in Kenya, we don't have a psychiatrist working at the level of the community uh, full time. Um, we, we don't have uh, that kind of uh, luxury. The Africa Mental Health Foundation, whose unwavering mission is to pursue excellence by conducting high-quality research on mental health and behavior, has for the last six years taken the lead in imparting mental health skills to personnel working at community and health facility levels. We are going to be training every cadre of staff. We shall train the community health workers again. Mm -hmm. We shall do more training for you faith healers. Mm -hmm and we shall do more training for traditional healers. We shall also do more trainings for the health staff at the facility. Wakati hii NGO ni ingia, na ika to train kama community of the worker, na ika train in faith healer, na ika train in traditional healer, tumesaidiana, and tukasaidia community, na wengi wakajifahamu, kwamba wali wakonjwa, lakini walikuwa lefkiri, wakonjwa wakili ni wale, Kwa na wa, na 
Currently, the African Mental Health Foundation, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, runs two mental health clinics. One is situated in Kibwezi, a rural area over 250 kilometers away from the capital, Nairobi. The NGO identified Ngwata Health Center, which has overwhelmingly transformed the community. In a span of one and a half years, the foundation has conducted trainings to community health workers, faith and traditional healers, and health staff on how to identify and provide basic interventions to mentally ill persons and refer to Ngwata Health Center. The patients who initially used to visit traditional healers are now coming to seek medical attention from the facility. Initially, there used not to be anything to do with mental illnesses. We never used to identify. We only used to do prescribers the uh, psychosis but since African Mental Health Foundation came we have we have seen the numbers increasing significantly we because of the training which we have underwent we are able to get on diagnose those patients who are suffering from the same come come community workers nikakuja nikapata shida yake after Usha mwelezea masomo ya mental health Tukapata alikuwa na shida ya depression Na vile ilianzia Alisema kuwa Alikuwa na msana ke ambaye aliaga Na kuanzia hapo ndi walishtuka Na shida ikaanza hapo Nkakuwa kuna chembe chembe ya moyo Anxiety Mara alali Ali vizuri Ndo tulichukua tuwa ya kumtuma hospitali nakaenda akapata matibabu na baada ya kumtembelea tena akasema yuendelea vizuri In the capital Nairobi African Mental Health Foundation is also collaborating with the Kangemi Health Center whose population catchment is over 95,000 people Consequently the facility runs mental health clinics twice a week and has gone a long way in capacity building their health staff to provide mental health services. Kangemi Health Center is a, is a facility that um, offers primary health care to our community, whereby we are, we are serving uh, around 95,481. That is our catchment population. We have a mental clinic. I have a mental health clinic twice in a week, that is on Monday and Wednesday. That is through the aid uh, of the Mental Health Foundation. And it has been doing well, and we've seen many clients benefiting from this. The Mental Health Foundation has been able to sponsor us in areas such as capacity building, in training our staff so that they can enhance their skills in diagnosing and treatment of mental illnesses. They have also provided mental, mentorship uh, opportunities to most of us by availing consultation services that we can see them and consult if in case we have any problem. We have also, they have also participated in logistics in terms of provision of certain uh, learning materials and even uh, stationaries. In a bid to live to its vision of commitment and promotion of mental and neurological health and behavior, the foundation has identified and appointed Tawakal Medical Clinic in East Lee, an estate that is mostly inhabited by Somali refugees. It is here that the two doctors, Abdi Kadir and Maimona, burn 